Let's continue to worship by singing our next hymn, a hymn that rejoices in the advance of Christ's dominion over all, hymn number 678. Number 678, Christ shall have dominion. And we'll sing all verses. Let's stand to sing.
that you would receive them to your glory and praise. We pray that you would advance your kingdom uh, in our lives, in our homes, our church, in our community, and throughout the earth. We ask for them in Christ's name. Amen. Please take your seats. <laughs> Let's bow before the Lord and confess to Him our sin, and then hear His word of promise. Let's pray. Father, we thank You for the work of the gospel of Christ and how You show us what Jesus has done for us. And we pray that You would strengthen us in our view of Christ, that as we uh, face the mountains before us, that we would do so in Christ's strength, and that we would be refreshed by the help of His Spirit, that we might live for You. We pray that you would forgive us for where we have fallen far short of your word, where we have not trusted in you, where we've been cowardly, fearful. We pray, Lord, that you would forgive us for these things. We pray that you would strengthen our faith, help us to look to you and what you can accomplish through us. And may we devote ourselves to the callings that you've given to us, each in our own place, to do in them that which glorifies you and advances your work. And so we pray for the forgiveness of our sins through Jesus Christ, in whose name we pray. Amen. The Lord reminds us that he is ready to forgive in these words from the prophet Jeremiah, chapter 33. I will bring Judah and Israel back from captivity and will rebuild them as they were before. I will cleanse them from all the sin they have committed against me and will forgive all their sins of rebellion against me. Then this city will bring me renown, joy, praise, and honor before all nations on earth that hear of all the good things I do for it. And they will be in awe and will tremble at the abundant prosperity and peace I provide for it. The promise that Jeremiah has was not simply for the people of his day who were languishing in captivity, who were waiting for deliverance. It was a promise for you and I. Jeremiah would talk about the new covenant that was coming, where, where our forgiveness of our sins would be impressed on us. We rejoice in that and its fulfillment in Jesus Christ. Let's approach then the Lord in prayer to bring our request to Him this morning. 